Uh, I don't think I've ever shown off the plasma deck here. And this one actually has a bit different play, and this one's going to require a bit more focus when I'm doing a common only run with it. I could try to do a quick common only run with it, but I might ruin myself if I don't get lucky. But uh, this one's different because it balances the chips and malt when it's calculating the score. It just adds them together, then splits them out. Uh, mathematically, with the two numbers like this, those two numbers being as close as possible is going to give you the biggest number possible. Now, there's a lot of other factors with it because uh, obviously most of the chip cards add 50 to 100 and the molt cards only add four or five. So just trying to add molt cards to get them equal won't give you the biggest score. But if all things were being said equal, if you were able to add 50 molt and 50 chips, either or with one card, and your score was 200 chips on one side and 50 chips on the other side, uh, you would obviously want to take the 50 malt, because raising that 50 to 100 is going to make your score way bigger than raising that 200 to 250 while leaving the other side to 50. This deck does it on its own. And you'll see right away, as soon as I play something, it really doesn't matter. I don't need to actually hit 35 times or 75 times 4 that I usually do. Even this tiny little flush is going to get balanced out and equal a bunch higher. The balancing act on this deck is this first one's no longer 300, it's 600. Every single score on this deck is doubled. Uh, so we'll grab Supernova like usual because I like it. It's a nice little bonus. I would have preferred a chip bonus at the beginning because Malt doesn't matter too much until endgame with the Plasma. But neither of the Jokers I had offered were great, so I'll just take the one that adds up a little bit. <laughs> I'm really looking for chip bonuses at the beginning here, and here it is. And part of the reason I wasn't doing common build here, because now I can just zoom through. Stuntman is amazing on a Plasma deck in early. So, I don't know what I'm building yet. Maybe I'll try to do a high card build real quick. Because, here, have some stupidity with Stuntman in the Plasma deck. 24,000 points for a single card. Don't care about those. Celestial. Fine, we'll do two pair. Go. That doesn't matter. None of this matters at this point. Stuntman will carry everything. Stuntman will give us 24,000 points for the longest time. Earn money for cards traded in. We'll look for chip cards. Money card is fine. Look for chip cards. Actually. We'll just look for more money cards. Oh, and a chip card. So yeah, because everything balances and the chip cards get bigger so much faster, the big chip cards matter a ton more with the Plasma deck. It's a fun little uh, weird thing. We're just going to try to earn a bunch of money, and I should have discarded the mail and rebate. But, yeah, whatever. I'm just kind of zooming on through. So these cards, the Molt, don't matter as much early on. The reason they'll matter late or later is because with the Plasma deck and the game in general, what happens is as you reach the middle to end game, you start getting all the X mult and is and the glass cards and all that stuff stacking. And as you get all those multipliers going, that number starts going from like 200, 300 chips times like 50 mult to 200, 300 chips times thousands or tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of mult. And when that happens, uh, the Plasma deck switches from being chip run to mulch run. And that's the big trick with this deck. You need to be able to figure out how to do that shift. On white stakes, as long as you just pile on chips, it's not really hard to win with this deck. Um, and planets, really easy way to pile on chips. I can focus on two pairs if I wanted. It's not great with the stuntman. I'm probably just gonna mess with high card if I can. Eh, none of those are good. 
like I said, getting 24,000 right now, it doesn't matter. I just play something I should discard for money, but moving around. <laughs> Create a random joker. Yes, please. Bank, you don't really need it. You don't really matter. Give me the high card one already. Yay, Pluto. Give me something for discard. Sure, and grab a spectral pyre. Destroy cards for money, because I don't care. Do I have more tens or nines left in my deck? Nines, so these tens can become jacks. So why not? Actually play a hand with some points. It's worth forty thousand. Battle boss will be two hundred thousand to six hundred thousand with this deck. So I need to keep building up, but I can grab the banner now to give me even more chips. Let's see if I can't just keep building up that high card. Let's see if I can't just make a goofy little high card deck with this real quick. That was the wrong button. Stone cards would actually be pretty good with what I'm doing right now, because I can toss them on, leave those be high cards. I will play the wheel. Nope, nothing on the wheel. On one hand, type this round. I wonder what it's going to be. High card! And up to 50,000 on the high card. Because now I have these two combining together for 120 chips. I will boost the banner more by taking that. do this. Anything that I can easily get chips on will be fun. You know what? Screw that. We'll get this. Now I can discard a card every round to upgrade the high card to get more chips on it. We have bonus chips from that, bonus chips from that. This is giving us more bonus chips for that. And then I can discard that. So until I need the chips for the banner, I can build up this. I'll probably replace this at some point. Uh, we'll grab a negative joker while we're at it too. But I discard that. And this wants me to lose my hearts. And then I play this. If this doesn't have much on it. We're at 45. We'll just build up a little bit. The banner's getting a little weaker when I'm doing this, but 45,000 is plenty. Uh, the driver's license won't do me much good, but it's a negative joker. And a slight times doesn't hurt. And we'll continue to search for more high card. None of that's high card. It doesn't matter. Unfortunately, well, what suit does this want this time? Still heart. It's a discard to power up that. And the arm is going to be a pain. But play that to lose a level. But we'll beat it in one. And I'll dig for more jokers to see if I find any that are more exciting. Current setup's not bad for what I'm doing. Ideally, it'll be enough to change stuff. And Brainstorm came in. Uh, get rid of the discard for this. So, we're going to do a lot of moving of jokers around now. So first things first. That wants spades. So... We're going to waste our first discard 
copying current Joker twice, so we gain two levels to our high card. We're going to waste our second discard, discarding all the spades, copying the castle. I don't know if this will work the way I want it to, but ideally this gains chips twice over. We'll find out. This either becomes 18 and this is useless to copy, or it becomes 27. It is useless to copy. Good to know. Finally, we can just copy Stuntman for 300 chips as we play the last card. Just a single high card. And we suddenly have a 130,000 point hand. <laughs> Banner doesn't care that much. Like, Banner's still okay, but we can do better. If I get another copy Joker, Banner is going away. Because I can ideally raise this up. I'm going to just stop caring about Banner and try to raise this as much as I can. I don't care about Malt cards. We will see. Extra money is not bad. Losing cards doesn't matter. Stone card. I talked about a stone card and I messed up earlier with that. I can sell this one. So again, uh, this one wants hearts this time. So, first discarded poker handy trown. I can stop being goofy. And this is still a high card. Discard to that. Build that up. I have more going on, so I can just discard this to level up that more. I don't have any hearts there. But I can turn this card into a heart and discard more cards for the heck of it to level up with that more. Move Stuntman back and boom, another hundred and something thousand point hand. Uh, yeah, I care so little about Banner at this point, even though it can be useful for this. I'm just going to focus on building up the castle. Going to grab this and increase my hand size to counteract Stuntman. And might as well increase my number of hands just in case. Grab our Arcana pack to see if I can find some more chip cards. Oh, so we're going to play the wheel and no. I was expecting that to hit the bean. Standard pack, looking for cards that have bonuses to chips. None of these really do, but red cards, red seals are good. This one unfortunately has no repeat hand types, but since I am hitting at a hundred thousand or so, it doesn't really matter. Glass card. This, oops. Clubs this time. Oh well. And then we will just play that seven. It's 140,000 now. Just a bit more, and most of the bosses will go down without a fight. Extra hand. Celestial to look for more of my card, but with the Burnt Joker, we're just building that up nicely. It's already at a 10, which is adding an extra 95 chips. It's not the most exciting, but it's getting up there. Make use of this one more time. Don't sell you. It is clubs, which I do not have a single one of. Nope. 
Buy a card, discard, level it two more times. Sell this. Play the judgment for the fun of it. Eh, that's okay, but not amazing. Buy the Joker again. The bull is more fun. I'll just start saving all my money, I suppose. Use my discards up for that. And then play the seven for some money. And 170,000. So the developer has not officially stated whether they're planning expansions or not. Their statement was, I will continue to develop on the game as long as I feel motivated to. And currently I still have plenty of motivation. Now, that is not a guarantee that anything will come out. And, oh, there's a chip card. And as long as the game blowing up hasn't, you know, put a ton of pressure on them, I imagine there will be a number of updates or expansions to this game. That being said, I could also see there being plenty of pressure about making sure any extra content coming out is high quality, etc. As given the quality of everything that has gone on with the game is very well balanced and everything like that, uh, I could see uh, the person behind the game wanting to make sure everything's just right before they release it. Though I believe they also spent a decent number of amount of time letting people go on. Um, so there is an entire challenge mode. They originally sounded like they were planning on releasing like a daily challenge thing going on and it instead just turned into the challenge. I don't think this store page has been updated yet, but if you go to the store page, it still talks about a daily challenge. It got updated, it's not there, but it was there for a long time if it isn't there anymore. And uh, that might still be added, but I imagine a bunch of more challenges are gonna be added in. Uh, Jokers, I would be shocked if there weren't more added in. Uh, highest and spades. Uh, the Space Joker has a 1 in 4 chance every time you play a hand to level up. It is really useful a lot of the times. The downside, especially for what I have going on, is I'm playing one hand around. It's not very likely to go off, and my Burnt Joker is just carrying me. Um... I also am curious for if the developer is going to do something like set up a sort of uh, online slash streamer mode. Streamers are handling it just fine on their own, but there is a bit of a thing going on where people are just competing. Yeah, online PvP might be going on for like speed runs or high score challenges. Because people are just doing that naturally, as it is. Uh, also, wouldn't it be the worst to have some sort of... You know, pseudo co-op mode added? Love card. Don't need to pair. Switch that again. Um, I think there's a lot of ground to be dealt with, with like working together with chat to play, or vice versa. Like, I wouldn't mind collabing with someone and helping them learn how to play better in the game. Or if I had more chat, etc., perhaps letting chat kind of play one of these times. Right now, I find it really relaxing to just go through and play myself. But I could totally do it the other way sometime, too. Especially with the regulars that have been watching me. See how well you've learned from me and if you can go through and, you know, win easily enough. 
Ooh, a foil joker. Do I care about you over anything? I don't. Oh, I didn't actually even switch anything. Yeah, whatever. As for a battle pass, I'm gonna guess that's not gonna be the anything that goes on. I wouldn't be surprised if more decks came either. There's a decent modding scene going on for the game. Uh, but it's hard to say for sure. I haven't seen too much go on from the developers specifically saying what they're working on or if anything is truly coming right away. Yeah, that won't do much. Uh, certain time attacks, etc. could come. Totally possible. Discard your club card. I card up to level 21, because why not? More clubs. More clubs. Play whatever card, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> might have to figure out where my Joker is for the last one. But it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. A timed run could help. Um, you see it with like the Pokemon challenges between Nuzlocke players and speedrunners, how much different their strategies are uh, when it comes to that type of stuff. So there's definitely a difference between timed and speedrun type deals that way. Um, me, you saw my movie, you can see how much uh, time and energy I can put into it if I want to. Oh, fun. Uh, I've been building up, building up. One of these do I want to get rid of? This is the castle I've been building up. Uh, but I can also do this quickly. I am never going to be a proper speedrunner at this, though. I've never had real interest at speedrunning like that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Discard this, gain three levels. Uh, I have decent skills at a lot of things, but I've never had the motivation to dedicate my life to perfect something like that. I probably don't need to do this. I'm gonna slow it down just slightly. Let's see if I can find my jokers. Nope. I uh, ended up winning without being able to find them. <laughs> but there you go, a plasma run, just throwing around high cards for the hell of it. <laughs> 